there was some of God. Yeah, we had uh, a little bit of a gaff issue, and my dad got a little frustrated. Uh, stay tuned to see exactly what happened. <laughs> On today's episode of Real Hazardous, we're fishing with Wyatt and Chris Clifton. You guys have seen them fish with us before. They got a cool charter business called Hot Pursuit Fishing Charters. Uh, good guys, good fishermen. And I think we're gonna do great today slaying some fish. We get out there, bait was easy to find, thankfully. My dad threw the cast net, one and done, floated it up, more than enough bait. So we head out to the fishing spot. Alrighty guys, we are out here today at a good old PM. Got some uh, good fish here last time, heard some good things. I see a guy, looks like he's getting ready to gap the fish over here. We start off with our normal tackle, but I also brought a four pound fishing outfit. I'm gonna try to catch kingfish today with four pound test. I've done eight pound tests before, so uh, we're taking it up a notch, uh, making it a little more difficult. Be interesting to see how it goes, so uh, stay tuned and see what happens. Well, a little cloudy, rain's supposed to come in later, probably in the afternoon. It's kind of typical Florida afternoons, um, rain, storm. So hopefully we'll have our fish before the rain even gets here. I wonder if he got into the wreck, because that was right when we were over the wreck. We just got a damage. You want to put this one, you want yeah, to send man. that one out a little bit? Hey, you hey, hey, uh, something's hitting that no, one. Right no. I got, got it. I don't know why he popped it. This is on. You got one? Yeah. Weird bite though. That is a really deep one. Maybe it's yeah. a shark or... It's kingfish. Kingfish, there you go. <laughs> oh, he's just kind of pulling on like a shark or something. Huh? That was my first call. Not a bad one, man. Huh? That's too good. All right, you ready? Okay, guys, so start out a little slow. See other fish biting. We've got one kingfish, a couple of knockdowns. Um, one thing I wanted to do today was try some ultra light tackle. We did eight pound last year and this year got four pound line. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. Hey, that one popped. Oh, we got, we got another one. Back. Yeah. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Well, we just had one sky. Oh, that other one? Did he hear that other one? I'm you were this is the way you like to see it, isn't it, Gil? We ain't so bored. He oh, he tried, he tried. There you go. He took the guts. Oh, man. Was it a kingfish or barracuda? Kingfish, he just got hit by a cuda. Mine might be a, uh... dang. Yeah, a shark tore him up. I think one just boiled on that one. Chris, there you go. Fish on. Y'all get these, this is, I'm not keeping this on. Don't worry about this one. Uh, finally. Yeah, this is crazy. Did he get off? Yeah, he might off. Dang. We're like one for 20 today, aren't we? Got one? There we go. All right, guys, we got to get some... Uh... Meat in the box. Yeah, we found the fish. It's a good sign. But they're... Everybody's hooked up out here. Behind him, though, just saw him behind him. I think that shark's chasing him right now. He, he feels like he's panicking. What I've done before is I'll put it in free spool and let the fish run, and then he's right here. It looks like he's in half already. Already? Yeah, he's already bit him in half. Dang. Hey, you get a. Fish on, fish on. Here you go, Jeremy, you're up. Ah, oh, 
Is he still on or did he get off? Did he break that one too? Gosh, dog. I'm going to have to start ma making some rigs. You all right? It's getting kind of crazy. Yeah, well, we're, we're hooking them. We, the sharks seem to take the rest. All right, where's he at? All right. Are you ready to bring Pull him over here. Pull his head around. <laughs> Finally got, you got your whole fish, huh? I ain't getting, I've only got two halves. At least the fishing action's picking up. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, if I can get him in fast and not lose this one. Come in quick. Yeah. Going all around the boat. There we go, nice. Let's see what uh, two and a half people can go home now. This is a good area. We're, we keep hearing people's reels going off. That guy's hooked up. Drop plant over there, He's he's been killing it. Drags are peeling out everywhere. Yeah, and we've had quite a few drags peeling as well. We just keep losing them to sharks or stuff breaking. Uh, it'd be kind of frustrating, but at least we're starting to get it, you know, together. See the shark? There's your culprit. See him? Big old shark. And there's another one over there. We've got California tax man because they just keep ripping us off. <laughs> Usually they just take one, but uh, man, they're going they're going at it. Did he get off? Did he get off? He's coming at us. He's coming at us. All right, go ahead. He made a mad dash right there. Yeah, that's what a big king fish will do. I work to the front there and uh, we'll get this stuff in. Alright, Jeremy, go ahead. You're up. Alright, go ahead and pull it. Yeah, pull him up quick. Let's get him out. Yeah, there he is. Are you ready? King, I think it's Kingfish. He just foul hooked, it looks like. Yeah. I, yeah, there you go. Get him a. Ow! You don't hurt him. So I hate these big hooks. Get him back up. I'll get him to some. Jeremy's coming to the boat. All right, we well, ready. Keep on pulling. Pull him on up. He, ready? Ah, that was so. Oh. God. <laughs> Stupid piece edit, of crap. Edit. Oh yeah. Look at this thing. It's freaking like it ain't no point to it. Get that freaking black gaff out of there. Yeah, get that black gaff and throw this sucker in the river right here. That's gonna get the motor probably in it. Here you go. I get it. I get it. We've been uh, finding a lot of issues that we got to work on. We need to sharpen our gaff hook. Um, maybe practice gaffing. Uh, having a lot of trouble with our rigs today. I don't know why. They were great yet last week. Normally they're great, but got to do some, some deeper dive into everything. Not so right, but hey, yeah, we are getting steady hits. That's good. Haven't had a shark problem lately. It's just sprinkling. Not too hot. Hopefully uh, we'll dodge any storms. Got the radar going. But otherwise, uh, come along. At least we're out in the water, so that's good. Hey, hey, hey another one. Doubleheader. Oh, wow, look at him. He's right here. Dang, he's a little yeah, guy. Little oh, Spanish, yeah. Spanish again. I believe he pulled that much drag, that little one. That was right through the bait again. I want to see some all-star gaffing. Do I need to break out the gold one? <laughs> put out all those gaffs to shame. Um, Gotta put the gaff. gaffing glasses on. A red snap? Yeah, big one too. <laughs> big, big old red. Big old. A little less tension. <laughs>
Yeah, a little bigger. A bad little kingfish. It's nice to catch a whole one to go with all my pieces. <laughs> all my pieces of kingfish in there. You seem to be running smoother now. Uh, catching good fish. Maybe the bite's not quite as hot, but uh, it's probably okay. We're handling it better. Had the red snapper on the bottom rod, or on the downrigger, on a kingfish rod. We've got the four pound line out. Take two. We're gonna see if we can uh, get something on that. That'll be pretty interesting. Uh, had a couple issues to start with, and that was the knots weren't holding. A uh, friend Steve warned me about it the night before. Uh, when you go to really light tackle, really light line, the knots don't hold as well. I thought I did a good knot, an even better knot than normal, but that was not <laughs> the case. Yeah, that thing screamed. Yeah. All right, this guy's just all hands on that. Oh boy. Alright guys, four pound chest. I feel like I can barely sneeze without uh, Dad, you want uh of that raw yeah. off the back corner. Set, set those gaps down, down just both. Set those gaps down a little bit so we can get tight. Uh he's coming up. Smith quicker, yeah. There he is. Oh man, I hope that wasn't a shark eating him. <laughs> it's going deep. He's ready on that. <laughs> going <leg>. deep. <laughs> when I'm fighting the fish on four pound tackle, I'm really like jockeying the drag. I'm just sitting there fishing. And if he starts running, I'm backing it down. I'm, I'm using the click, going a couple clicks down, you know, keeping track. And then when he slows down, I'll go a couple clicks back, start gaining on him, you know, really working the drag. It's not like 20 pound or even eight pound where you can just set it, and just kind of let the fish do its thing and, and be a little more, you know, finesse about it. But it's much simpler with eight and up. But four, you get into some really tricky stuff. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think you're you, good. We're back. Thank you. I'm doing his ultra light. It's only four pound line. <laughs> it's got to be out of energy. I mean, kingfish aren't powerful. <laughs> he probably bit someone else's line, and they're fighting him to the boat, and they're gonna find our line in it. Probably off. Dang it. Yeah. Be that breaking. Yeah. 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 Break the fire or what? Line. He snapped the line. Four, four pound test. <laughs> I wonder. I man. That's Dang. all it takes to break it though. Does it feel rough any? You know, I should probably mark it, maybe every 10 feet, at least we'll know where it's breaking at. I mean, there's no marks on it, it's just snapping. Yeah. Break it with your hands. That feels like one or two pounds. Um, dang, God, I thought I had him that time I was playing the school, but no telling, could have hit another fish, could have gone down deep, it's a wreck. Unfortunately, I think if I did have a kingfish on, a shark came and ate it. So I was fighting that shark most of the battle and the shark eventually broke me off. Um, don't think I could do much with a couple hundred pound shark and four pound line. So uh, looks like the fish are gonna win against me in four pound today. But uh, I'm gonna take four pound and get back out there. I'm gonna try it again and I think I can catch a kingfish on it. I looked it up. I think the world record for four pound test was like 37 pounds. Something really big. That's a big fish on four pound line. So um, it helps me to be a better fisherman. So we'll, we'll see how it does. All right, guys, made it back in. It's pretty rainy. Uh, rain is coming. Got a little wet throughout the day, but that was okay. Kept it cool rather than typical Florida heat. Boat ramp's actually not crazy crowded, so that's nice too. Overall, it was a fun day. We got uh, a lot of kingfish. We had a lot of fun. We were uh, tried the eight pound. Fish picked off. We saw tons of fish skying. It was a really awesome day, really fun with Chris. Uh, if you're looking for a charter, Chris Clifton does charter. 
him and his son Wyatt. So I'll put a link in the description and check it out. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.